Hey there, lovely viewers, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a gripping story fresh off the headlines. You won't want to miss this one. In a groundbreaking move, the French education minister has stirred up quite the debate. Brace yourselves as we dive into the controversy surrounding the recent ban on abayas in French state-run schools. Picture this, on a regular Monday morning, approximately 300 students arrived at school wearing the abaya, a long Muslim robe recently banned in schools. Shocking, right? But here's the twist, most of these students agreed to change into alternative clothing. Official data shows that 298 girls, mainly aged 15 or older, showed up wearing the prohibited attire. The ministry's guidelines stipulated a dialogue between school staff and these students in each case. The majority of the girls ultimately agreed to wear different clothing and were able to attend classes. However, 67 girls refused to comply and were sent home. Now, further discussions with their families will occur, and if unsuccessful, they may face exclusion from school. It's a tough situation with many voices and opinions involved. Keep this in mind, folks, this ban affected only a small fraction of the 12 million students who started school on Monday. The government believes it's widely accepted. But there's a twist in the plot. A legal challenge by a group representing some Muslims is set to go before the courts today. This story keeps getting more intriguing. In August, the education minister announced the ban on students wearing loose-fitting full-length robes like the abaya in France's state-run schools at the beginning of the new school year on September 4. France has a strict prohibition on religious symbols in state schools and government buildings, citing the importance of secular laws. The ban on headscarves has been in place since 2004 in state-run schools. This decision follows months of debate regarding the wearing of abayas in French schools, sparking a political divide. Right-wing parties advocate for the ban, while left-wing concerns revolve around the rights of Muslim women and girls. Let's not forget, France previously banned full-face veils in public in 2010, causing tension within the Muslim community. France has historically prohibited religious symbols in schools since the 19th century, including Christian symbols like large crosses, to prevent any religious influence on public education. Over the years, the law has evolved to include the ban on Muslim headscarves and Jewish kippahs, but the ban on abayas is a recent addition. And there you have it, folks. A complex, evolving story that keeps us all on our toes. What do you think about this ban? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking updates. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious. Bye for now.